Tinkercad has a hidden method of creating patterns or arrays. Here's how to do it. I'll drag a pyramid onto the work plane. Then I'll use the duplicate button and drag that object off to the side, maybe using a shift key to constrain that movement. You can even type in a more exact value here. Then I'll click on that button again to create additional copies. Instead of just duplicating in place, those additional copies are duplicated and offset with the same settings that I used in the first move. And I'll just make note that if I change my view here and duplicate some more, the objects maintain that original sort of pattern that's been set. Changing my view doesn't alter the direction of the duplication like it does when you're using copy and paste. Okay, let's delete a few of these, leaving just one. I want to investigate this pattern setting move just a little bit further. What are all our options? So the real key is that the shape really needs to stay selected throughout the entire operation. If you unselect, you're going to have to delete it and start over. So I'll click on my pyramid. I'll choose duplicate and I will bump it out to the side. I can move it in X. I can move it in Y. I can even grab this cone on the top and drag it up in Z off the work plane. I can even grab the ruler tool and bring it in. Zoom in here for a closer look. I'm gonna move the origin to the corner of the pyramid. And then I can really accurately specify these offsets. I'll duplicate a couple more times. I'm going to deselect by clicking on the work plane and choose fit all in view to see that pattern that I've created. Okay, let's delete these extra ones. We'll leave just one and X out of the ruler tool. I wanna show you one more thing. You can actually even incorporate the flip tool into a duplication. So we'll zoom in here. I'll select the pyramid. I'll duplicate it. I'll click the flip tool here, flip on the Z axis, and then use my arrow keys to bump that out to the side. Then click duplicate to create a flipped duplication. Combine variations of these moves to easily create evenly spaced patterns.